Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 8th of 2021. Well, it is titled a filament leaps from the sun. So what do we see here? Well, this is a short video clip that will show a filament leaping up from the sun. Now the sun has various signs of activity and we tend to look at it as nice and calm and just as a steady glowing out in space. However, it is extremely active and we look at it along the edge here silhouetted against the space. We can see a lot of activity there, not only the filament stretching off from the limb of the sun up towards the upper right, but also other activity and other prominences filaments uh, over towards the lower section as well. Now the activity of the sun is caused by its magnetism. And as the magnetic field gets tangled up and twisted, it can sometimes break out in certain places and propel material off the surface of the sun at very high speeds and in fact fast enough to escape from the sun altogether. Now you have to think of the amount of force that takes considering the very strong gravity of the sun as it has to throw this material up into space. Now let's take a quick look at this video and watch it and what we'll see is the filament rising material rising up over towards from this limb up towards the upper right. Now to give a sense of scale if you look at the upper left corner there is an image of Earth to scale so it compares Earth to the Sun but also Earth to this filament heavy heading up into space and Earth's size it dwarfs the Earth in size the Earth is incredibly tiny by comparison to the this great solar storm. The more active it is, the more of these solar storms we will see. And in fact, there was a great flare associated with this as well. So depending on how much material and how much force the magnetic field lifts up here, it can propel material out into space in things like a flare, or it may fall back to Earth in a uh, back to Earth back to the sun in a very hot plasma rain coming back onto the surface of the sun. And you actually see a little bit of that if you watch towards the bottom while a lot of the material is heading up, you can see some of it is falling back the material not moving quite as fast. And ends up coming back and raining back onto the solar surface. Now we can expect over the coming years to see far more storms like these as the sun gets more and more active coming out of its minimum and heading up towards a much more active phase. And when storms like this actually point in the general direction of Earth, we will see far more aurora because it's these types of particles striking the Earth's magnetic field and then atmosphere that actually give us the green glow of the aurora that we're used to seeing at very high and very low latitudes. Attitudes. So we can also look forward to far more aurora over the coming years as well. So that was our picture of the day for November 8th of 2021. It was titled a filament leaps from the sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture pre previewed to be fake apods. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.